In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. A morning offering by St. Therese of the Child Jesus. O my God, I offer Thee all my actions of this day for the intentions and for the glory of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. I desire to sanctify every beat of my heart, my every thought, my simplest works, by uniting them to, his infinite, to its infinite merits. And I wish to make reparation for my sins by casting them into the furnace of its merciful love. O oh my God, I ask of thee for myself and for those whom I hold dear, the grace to fulfill perfectly thy holy will, to accept for love of thee the joys and sorrows of this passing life, so that we may one day be united together in heaven for all eternity. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, welcome to our uh, daily uh, conference on the prayer of the presence of God. Uh, yung mga conferences natin are regularly uploaded on our YouTube channel, Sense of the Sacred. Don't forget to subscribe and to click the notification bell. Okay, we are now on our 41st conference. And yung 41st conference na yan ay entitled, Praise of God's Wisdom. Papuri sa karunungan ng Diyos. Okay. So, we begin by affirming that uh, God is infinite order. Okay. Siya ay ang walang hanggang kaayusan. Okay. Magandang pag-usapan natin ito, no? walang hanggang kaayusan. Uh, God being the, the infinite order, Kasi, di ba, kung napapansin nyo, there is a uh, surge of anarchy in society today. No? Uh, balitang balita yung sa US, halimbawa, yung mga protesters, uh, uh, yung panununog ng mga simbahan, yung pagsisira ng mga banal na larawan ng ating Panginoon, ng mahal na birhen, at ng iba pang mga santo, okay? Ginagamit nila yung issue ng, uh, uh, ng racism. Okay? Pero, uh, yun, nagkakon ng kaguluhan sa, sa Estados Unidos. At gayon din naman, no? uh, well, this, this absence of order is exactly the opposite of God. Okay? Yung, yung kawalan ng kawalan ng uh, kaayusan, ito mismo ay ang pinaka uh, kasalungatan, kasul, kasulang, uh, kasalungat ng uh, Diyos. No? Because God is infinite order. Okay? Uh, yung, uh, yung mga tilamsik ng kanyang uh, kaayusan ay nakikita natin dito sa sang kalupaan sa sang nilikha at kung mapapansin natin uh, manghang manghana tayo sa kaayusan na nakikita natin okay sa kalikasan pero kung tutusin ito ay napakaliit pa kung iyahambing sa kaayusan ng Diyos okay so god is essentially order okay that uh, even what we call disorder is made to serve His designs. Kung iisipin natin, yung kaguluhang nagaganap ngayon sa lipunan, yung kaguluhang nagaganap sa buong daigdig, okay, ang kaguluhang ito ay nagagamit pa rin ng Diyos upang masunod, pagsilbihan ang kanyang plano. God possesses amazing amount of making harmony out of dissonance. Uh, pambihira ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos sapagkat nagagawa niyang ayusin, mag, nagagawa niyang magkaroon ng kaayusan maging sa gitna ng kaguluhan 
na ating ginawa totoo. No? To recognize that supreme order, we must pass beyond the duration of time and, pres and present circumstances okay? and wait until the passing and, and wait until the passing and supernatural moment has produced what God's eternal gaze sees and His immense love wills. Parang ganito yan. No? Yeah. At present, siguro hindi natin maintindihan no, yung makaguluhang pinagdadaanan natin mismo sa personal nating buhay. Ha? Huwag na natin pag-usapan muna yung kaguluhan sa lipunan. Pag-usapan muna natin yung kaguluhan mismo ng ating sariling buhay. Okay? Para hindi mo alam, hindi mo, saan ba patutungo ito? Saan ba patutungo ito? Okay. Tinan niyo ha? Kapag tayo ay malapit ng mamatay at nagbalik tanaw tayo sa lahat ng nangyari sa ating buhay, doon natin makikilala na sa ilalim pala ng mga kaguluhan na yan, ng mga kalituhan na yan na pinagdaanan natin sa buhay, sa ilalim pala noon ay ang kamay ng Diyos na, na ginagamit maging ang makaguluhan ng ating buhay upang matupad ang kanyang plano, magkaroon ng kaayusan, matupad ang kanyang kalooban. Kaya nga, halimbawa, habang tumatanda tayo at nagbabalik tanaw tayo sa lahat ng mga nangyari sa ating buhay, biglang mapapa, ah, kaya pala nangyari iyon. Di ba? Ah, kaya pala nangyari iyon kasi ito pala ang kasunod. All of a sudden, the chaos in our lives, when we look back at all of them at one point in our life, we will see there was an order. Kaya pala nangyari ito kasi pinaghahanda ako para sa ganitong pangyayari. E kaya pala nangyari ito kasi pinaghanda ako sa itong pangyayari. Example. Okay, example. Uh, nung high school ako, nabubuli ako. No? Okay? Nung high school ako, nabubuli ako. There was one time, I got fed up with somebody who bullied me. Okay? Okay? Niloloko ako. It came to a point na bigla akong napikon. Tapos, natatandaan ko yun, nung, nung high school kami noon, eh, typing, nandun pa kami sa typing room, typing class kasi, elective namin typing class. Biglang, nung pumasok siya, nung pumasok yung bully dun sa loob ng classroom, bigla akong tumayo, hindi ko napigil sa sarili ko, hinamon ko siya. Magkita tayo mamaya. Ganun. Magkita tayo mamaya. After school, hinamon ko ng suntukan. Para may karapatan akong manghamon ng suntukan. Pikong-piko na kasi ako noon. Eh siya, kasi mas malaki siya, eh nakita naman, liit-liit ko noon, high school, eh, hindi niya ako, pinagtawanan na lang niya ako at niya ako pinansin. Ni hindi ako inabangan pagkatapos ng klase. O hindi ako pinatulan. Hindi ako pinatulan. Okay, hindi ako pinatulan. Yung kaklase kong yun, eventually namatay. Okay? Natake sa puso. Alam niyo ba? Nagkataon na binurol siya dito mismo, malapit sa parokya. And guess, sino ang nagdiwang ng misa ng kanyang libing? Ako. Parang, nung nangyari yun, bigla ko nasa... Kaya pala. Ah, kaya pala. In the end, everything seems to fall into place. Even our chaotic moments, even our chaotic lives, 
when we look back at a certain point, when we look back at all of them, lahat ng pinagdaanan mo, suddenly you will see, ah, planado. God allowed this to happen because this will happen. So, just be amazed at the order of God, yung kaayusan ng Diyos. Taga ako, I, I, never, I never fail to be amazed at the order set by God. Wait until the passing and superficial moment has produced what God's eternal gaze sees. Balang araw, makikita natin yung tinitignan ng Diyos. Ngayon, hindi natin naiintindihan kung bakit nangyayari ito sa akin. Bakit nangyayari ito sa atin? Pero balang araw, He will allow us to see our lives, our history, the way He sees it. And when it happens, we will discover how great was that love found in his will when he allowed a misfortune to happen because God is able to see with great love the entire picture. So God's wisdom in this gaze, seeing far beyond time and distance, it emerges from a mind that creates order and from a love that gives itself. Okay? Yung, yung, uh, yung karunungan na ito ng Diyos, ay nanggagaling sa isang diwa na lumilikha ng kaayusan at sa isang pag-ibig na nag-aalay ng kanyang sarili. Yung kaayusan ay ang bunga ng diwang nagmamahal. At the proper name, the proper name of this is with the wis- is called wisdom okay the order is the outcome of the mind that loves the proper name of that mind that loves is wisdom ang tawag sa diwang umiibig na iyan ng dios ang tawag doon ay ang kanyang karunungan. Okay? So, sa tao, yung isip at kalooban ng tao ay sumisilang mula doon sa malalim na ugat bagamat kadalasan ito'y watak-watak. It would be more correct to say it seems distinct. Because distinction is not the same as division. Okay? So, sa Diyos, yes, you have three distinct persons, and yet the three persons are not divided. They are only one. Okay? Ang ama ay hindi ang anak. Ang anak ay hindi ang ama. Ang Ama ay hindi ang Espiritu Santo. Ang Espiritu Santo ay hindi Ama. Ang Espiritu Santo ay hindi ang Anak. At ang Anak ay hindi ang Espiritu Santo. Each person of the Blessed Trinity is distinct. But they are not divided. God is not divided. Hindi nagkakawatak-watak ang Diyos. Okay? So, distinction is not the same as division. In God, 
there is no division. Yes, there are three distinct persons, but they are one. Wisdom is the unique act by which God knows himself in his love. And wisdom is also the unique act by which uh, God loves himself in that self-knowledge. Medyo mahirap, mahirap unawain nyo na. Ang karunungan ng Diyos ay ang pagkakakilala ng Diyos sa kanyang sarili. Okay. At iniibig ng Diyos ang sarili niyang nakikita o nakikilala niya. Okay? So, uh, 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 that, that wisdom is actually the Lord Jesus. Okay? Ang ating, ang, ang ikalawang persona ng Santissima Trinidad ay ang karunungan ng Diyos. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Pag tinitignan ng ama ang kanyang anak, nakikita niya ang kanyang sarili. Nakikilala niya ang kanyang sarili. Ako hindi dapat mahirap unawain yan eh. Himbawa, kayong mga tatay, kapag nakikita ba ninyo ang inyong anak, nakikita ba ninyo ang inyong sarili? Ang sagot, oo. Oo. Even in physical, in the physical way, yes, your son will resemble you. At minsan, kahit sa ugali, yes, the son resembles his father. Okay? So, kapag tinitignan ng Diyos Ama ang kanyang anak, anong nakikita niya? Ang kanyang sarili. Nakikilala niya ang kanyang sarili. At minamahal ng Ama ang nakikita niya sa kanyang anak. His knowledge is a knowledge that loves. His mind is is a mind that loves. Wisdom is God's word, the light in whom God has revealed, the word who expresses God's being, the image who represents the invisible God, the substantial ray who is the splendid brightness of divine glory. The likeness that reproduces the features of God and makes Him known. Kaya nga, di ba, nung sabi ni St. Philip kay Jesus, Lord, show us the Father and that will be enough for us. And what did Jesus say? Philip, you have been with me all this while and still you do not know me. Do you not know that whoever sees me sees the Father? Ang sino mang nakakakita sa akin ay nakakakita sa aking ama. In the word, the word is the likeness who reproduces the features of God and makes him known. At yung karunungan na ito ng Diyos is communicated, was communicated to nothingness and has filled nothingness with finite reflections of Him who is. Okay. Ibinuhos ng Diyos, he, 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 he communicated to the nothingness His own divine wisdom. Okay? Kaya nga, hindi ba ang sabi nung, nung banal na apostol San Pablo? Sabi niya, 
In Him all things were created. All creation were made through Him and for Him. Okay? All creation was made through, through Him and in Him. And for Him. So, lahat ng nilikha ay umiiral. Okay? Lahat ng nilikha ay umiiral upang ipahayag ang karunungan ng Diyos. And it is there I must admire, adore, and love when the world reveals itself to me in the splendor of its wonders and in harmony. Kailangang makita, kailangang makita ko yung, kaningning, yung, yung kadakilaan sa kanyang kaningningan sapagkat ang karunungan at ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos ang lahat ay nakalantad. Okay? Lahat ni, ay nilalantad nito ang tiyatag nating perfections of God. But when you look at the at the wisdom and the power of God, they are but a single perfection of God's plenitude. Kailang makita natin sa bawat nilikha, sa bawat nilalang, yung pagkakaisang natatagpuan sa lahat ng ito. Na siyang uh, salamin ng walang hanggang kasaganaan ng Diyos sa ating kalooban. Kailangang makita natin sa lahat ang iba't ibang mga elementong bumubuo nito. At sa lahat, makita natin yung maayos na pagkilos na siyang nagiging dahilan ng paggalaw. Love, God's love unifying all, ordering all, reproducing itself in writing and uniting in ordering and which in order that all may act in consonance, arranges, preserves, and quietly develops the place and activity of each for the good of all and of the whole to which each belongs. Okay? So, ang lahat ng mga elemento ng sanilikha okay? at ang lahat ng uh, maayos na pagkilos ang siyang bubuo sa pagkilos ng Diyos. Ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ang siyang nagbubuklod sa lahat sa pagkakaisa. Ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ang siyang umuutos sa lahat. Ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ay nagpap nag uh, reproduces itself okay? the love of god reproduces itself in uniting and uniting in ordering and which in order that all may act in consonance arranges perseveres and quietly develops the place and activity of which for the good of all and for the whole to which each belongs. This is the movement of which the Holy Spirit himself speaks in the sacred scriptures. Yung pagkilos na ito, yung paggalaw na ito, masterly, treasured, and in harmony where all is accomplished smoothly and harmoniously 
and according to a plan foreseen down to its smaller details. In general and particular, its general and particular laws prove to be such a joy when we study them. They ensure our personal happiness and that of the world in general when we observe them ourselves and they will and they all tend to restore to appearance and everything something of the peace which reigns in heaven sa maniwala ka sa hindi sa bawat nilalang ay nakikita natin ang isang pasilip ng kapayapaan na naghahari sa langit. At pag nagpapasakop ang sanlibutan sa pamumuno ng karunungan ng Diyos, malinaw, malinaw niyang nakikita ang lahat ng bagay at nalalagpasan ang lahat ng mga balakid. Okay. Nalalagpasan ang lahat ng mga balakid. When the world allows itself to be governed by God's wisdom, it sees clearly without any kind of obstruction because wisdom is light. Ang karunungan ay liwanag. Ito'y masaya at nagbibigay ng liwanag sa lahat ng mga dumadaang pagdurusa sa buhay na ito na para bagang pinangungunahan niya, hinahawakan niya sa kanyang kamay at ang kamay ng Diyos ay ang pag-ibig. Ibinabahagi ng karunungan ng Diyos ang liwanag sapagkat ang Diyos ang karunungan ay liwanag. Masaya siya at ginagawa niyang maliwanag ang lahat ng mga dumaraang pagdurusa sa buhay na ito. Na para bagang hinahawakan niya tayo sa kanyang kamay. At pumapayag tayong dalhin niya tayo kung saan man natin kung saan man niya nais na maibigan. Wisdom shares your light, which sees only love. Ibinabahagi ng karunungan ang kanyang, ang, ang kanyang uh, buhay. Okay. Ang kanyang buhay, ang kanyang liwanag. At ang liwanag na ito ay nagiging kabutihan at kanyang inuulit yung pagkakaisa ng Diyos. Tulad ng salita niya na siyang panlabas na pagpapahayag ng napakaraming mga aspeto ng Diyos. Ngunit nagkakaisa silang lahat sa kanya na siyang karunungan sa lahat ng bagay. Ang karunungan ng Diyos ay nagniningning sa lahat ng mga nilikha kung paanong siya ay nagniningning sa kanyang sarili. Sa pagkilos ng mga bituin, okay? sa iba't ibang mga panahon na nililikha nito, sa halaman ng lupa na ginagabayan ng iba't ibang mga seasons. Inanimate object of creation guided by so unerring and so wise an instinct. In intelligent beings that can err, okay, that uh, In intelligent beings that can err but can profit by their experiences. Maari tayong magkamali pero pakikinabangan pa rin natin ang ating mga pagkakamali. 
even when those experiences are at fault, in order to raise themselves higher and so come back to their Creator. It is reflected in the movements of pure spirits whose intelligence leaps upward to God in one bound and forever. They see what God sees in the light of His love. They love all that God loves. It shines in the movement of incarnate but distinctly spiritualized intelligences by which even matter itself enters into that domain where you are always where god is always giving itself and where everything has its abiding place it shines in her who is the summit of creation and in him who is at the same time the head of all God works and the creature by whom all things have been made. So, kikita natin kung paanong ginagabayan ng karunungan ang lahat ng mga nilikha. Kung paanong ginagabayan ng karunungan ng Diyos ang lahat ng pagtakbo ng kasaysayan. Saan patutungo ang lahat ng ito? Lagi nating tinatanong, lalo higit sa panahon ito ng kawalang katiyakan. And then suddenly, we really need to just hope and trust in God because God sees everything. May mga bagay na hindi natin kaya may mga bagay na maaring uh, um, tawo ito. May mga bagay na maaring hindi maarok ng ating pangunawa ngayon. Subalit sa bandang huli, makikita natin ang pagkilos ng karunungan ng Diyos. Before God gave the word of, for His creation, there all was accomplished when in His incarnate word and in Him, God made and consummated all things. Sa kanyang bugtong na anak, ang lahat ng bagay ay nauuwi at nagiging dalisay. There, I shall eternally him sing to the wisdom of God, who is one with his life and one with God. There we shall see everything, love all, and possess all. Seeing we shall love, and our love will be light, and that love and light together, but always distinct, will proceed from God's being under my gaze. Let us pray. O Christ Jesus, I acknowledge the King of the universe. All that has been created has been made for your exercise over me, all thy sovereign rights. I renew the promises of my baptism. I renounce Satan and all his works and all his pumps, and I promise to live a good Christian life and to do all in my power to procure the triumph of the rights of God and thy church. O divine heart of Jesus, I offer thee my poor efforts in order to obtain that all hearts may acknowledge thy sacred royalty and that thus the kingdom of, thy, of thy peace may be established throughout the universe. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, hope of the hopeless, pray for us. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong pakikibahagi sa ating conference ngayon. Kalilimutan, the wisdom of God is so perfect that even our chaotic lives, the chaotic lines of our lives, are made to resonate His will. In the end, we shall look at, back at everything and we will realize how our lives, in spite of their, of their chaotic character, our lives were brought by God to a certain end. God bless you. Don't forget to like and share.